Good morning, Cardinals. Mr. Fortin here. I wanted to film this video because uh, you have some asynchronous work. Now, we're just getting used to the school year and we haven't had too many classes. So um, at the beginning of the year on these asynchronous days, I'll probably film videos like this just so you know where everything is and know what it is that I want you to do. And hopefully if you are still confused, if you, if you have any confusion, you can email me and figure out what you need to do. Okay, so today what you have as your classwork today is to look through this Google slideshow. This slideshow is called What Makes a Mathematician? It should be located right in Google Classroom. I'll get to that later where to find it. Um, but the reason why we're doing this, uh, this slideshow, there are a few reasons. Um, one is you may have not, not thought of what is a mathematician. Uh, who are mathematicians? What are these mathematicians all about? Are mathematicians people who just lived several hundred years ago, or are they people today? So this Google slideshow is actually put together by the school district, um, and it actually does a pretty good job of showing current day, right? People who live nowadays, um, mathematicians, and some cool stuff they are doing with math. And uh, they go through a diverse group, and I'm hoping that you see a bit of yourselves in them, and uh, hopefully you feel represented. Um, also, too, it goes through some people in the past, past hundred years or so, who have contributed for, uh, in math, and uh, just sort of gets you thinking about some things you could do later in life with math, and also what are some of the skills that some of these people have, um, and uh, how they may have overcome challenges in order to get to a pretty successful place. Okay, so just open up this uh, presentation, run through it on your own time. It's just supposed to kind of um, inspire you a bit. Um, this very second slide, I wanna call it the very second slide here. So when you when you actually do this presentation, I'd recommend having the present on, right? So you can actually see things and see things full screen. I'm not gonna do that for you now, but you can click present and see it here. Um, the second slide I, I wanted to extra draw your attention to because it's a really, really cool video. The second slide, you're supposed to pause and open up this link this video that's right here you can just click on it open it up and it brings you to YouTube so this is a three minute video you just need to work to watch the first three minutes and it uh, goes through kind of the story of I'll close it out here of a very very famous mathematician named Maryam Mirzakhani now she was an Iranian mathematician who back in 2014 won the Fields Medal and the Fields Medal is the most prestigious award in mathematics. It's very, very famous. I've you know, remembered what it is for quite a long time. Um, but it took until 2014 for a woman to get recognized. And uh, she is absolutely brilliant. Obviously, you're brilliant if you won this award, but she is absolutely brilliant. At the time, she was a professor at Stanford and uh, was doing some really, really cool stuff that uh, is a bit above my pay grade to explain. So uh, take a look at it. Um, it goes through her story. And she's her story will really resonate with you if you've ever felt like hey this math thing it's not really it's not really for me or if you felt like i just can't do this math i'm convincing myself i can't do this math or if somebody's told you hey this math thing no this isn't your thing right if somebody said that to you watch this video because um i definitely believe right at times in my life right i felt that math hasn't been my thing either but um if you keep plugging away at it and keep thinking about things creatively you can get to seeing a lot of really beautiful things Right, so I want to encourage you to uh, to think of it that way. Okay, so that is your classwork to go through the, the PowerPoint. Let me show you where to find that. And also, right, with classwork, right, you have classwork and those asynchronous days. I also need to take your attendance, right? So I need to get your attendance. You're going to do classwork and you go through these slides, and then you guessed it, you will have homework. So you will have to write a little bit about these slides. Let me go through all three of those things with you guys, just so you know where to find. Them. Okay, in case you're not sure. Um, so I've put this stuff into Google Classroom. I arranged it a little bit differently because I've broken it out to two posts for Thursday, August 20th. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my, my first block class here. Again, don't look at the stream. I try not to post much to the stream because um, I know it does email you and I want to avoid that, getting too many emails. So every day, both synchronous and say asynchronous, you go to the classwork tab. So go to the classwork tab and then you'll find what you need to do. You need to find, uh, you need to do these two things tomorrow. Anything that says Thursday, August 20th, you need to take care of it. So first thing is you need to take care of your attendance question. So here is the attendance question for uh, Thursday, August 20th. It just says off the top of your head, are you aware of any famous mathematicians? Ooh, I gave you some names earlier. Ignore those, forget those for a second. Um, if so, what are their names? Please quickly answer this uh, attendance question before doing today's classwork. So the reason why I have this up here is asking this question is just, hey, what like what do you know? What do you what do you think of right away? Are you thinking about some of these amazing people that you're about to learn about? Or is it just like 
more older, boring stuff. So anyways, I'm curious, I'm curious about this. So forget the names that we just talked about a second ago. Um, just answer straight off the bat. And maybe, right, I can inspire you to kind of think about when you think mathematicians, think about people who are doing stuff now, uh, right? We're going to get to a textbook pretty soon later on this year. And kind of part of the reason why I think a lot of people think about older mathematicians and older stuff is that textbooks, right? usually talk about the old, right? The internet right now, nowadays, talks about the new, right? So I want you to kind of start acknowledging that a lot of the things you'll learn in school, right, especially if it's from a textbook, is going to be a lot of older stuff, right? A lot of older stuff. Um, whereas I think where you need to go, and one of the exciting things with distance learning here, we're going to use the internet more. Um, we want to be studying not just old great mathematicians, but also kind of new great thinkers and great leaders and what you can do with it nowadays. And I hope that's what you get out of the classroom. Okay. So anyways, attendance question here, open it up. I think you guys know what to do. It went fine last time, but you need to turn in something. I already turned mine in. I ignore my name here. This is where you turn in, right? You just you just turn in up here and you can reply to yourself and just don't worry about it. You, you turn it in up here and you're good to go. Okay. So give me the attendance. Um, and then after that, jump into your classwork. So you're going down this, the Thursday, August 20th, classwork homework, opening it up. It's going to tell you what I've just been telling you along this uh, this whole presentation here, this whole video I've been set up for you. Uh, I would click to view assignment because this is how you're going to do it. Uh, classwork asynchronous you're going through this powerpoint so goals are down here you can read that on your own time but really just the whole activity is just to go through these slides so you have 35 minutes to do it it's a 35 minute block um so just go ahead and click on it and that's going to bring you to the presentation that i was explaining a little bit earlier okay what makes a mathematician go at it at your own pace watch the video um, and you'll have something to reflect on as you do your homework uh, tonight, okay? So that's classwork, just going through the, the presentation. Don't need to do anything else because you've already submitted your attendance. So the next thing is homework because there should be a reflection out of this. So if you don't get, like, say if you do the attendance thing and you watch this video and you do the PowerPoint and you watch the video on that one, maybe that takes you 35 minutes. Um, then tonight for homework, right, you can uh, do your reflection at night, right? You don't have to do it during block one. So um, what you need to do but by midnight on Thursday is to just do your homework. It should be pretty quick. Your homework's up here, and I think you guys know what to do. Like I, I never had uh, Google Classroom when I was a student. Google Classroom is a relatively new thing, so you guys know this a lot better than me. But again, if you click this, this is what I just did a second ago. If you click up here, it's going to go to your homework. Okay, so you don't actually have to put in your name, but you could put in your name because this looks like a normal worksheet. <laughs> you can put in the date, you can put in the block, it's all good. Um, and then afterwards, uh, you'll see the questions here. So here there's just some really quick answers you can kind of find in the presentation, right? What is the field? What is the field's medal, right? Well, I was kind of describing the presentation. I kind of told you a second ago. Um, and then some reflections on kind of Miriam's video perhaps down here. Um, so these are quick, uh, short answer questions, one to two minutes each. So spend no more than 10 minutes on these four questions. Um, and then you get like 10 to 15 minutes of a little additional work down below. So you have a longer answer question uh, down at the bottom that you have to answer. So it says, please choose uh, one of the other people. So some of the other mathematicians that are talked about a little bit later on in the presentation. And uh, they could be some of the mathematicians that have won awards that are talked about at the end, or they could just be a mathematician who builds video games or um, is an architect on there, okay? So go ahead, just Google them, do some quick online research. Um, and then, uh, because I wanna learn more about these people, I want you to tell me a bit about their story, uh, what resonates with you, what inspires you. And ideally you find a quote from that person because I'm always trying to find good quotes because I think they're, I find quotes pretty motivating. So to give you an example of a quote, uh, I have the quote from Miriam from her video that I found very, very powerful. And a lot of times I like to start class with having a quote on my slides or on whatever I'm showing to get you thinking a little bit, get us thinking to sort of fulfill myself too and, and my desire to be inspired. Um, so if you put a quote down, uh, in your uh, longer answer, your four to six sentence, sentence answer, then uh, I would love to use it if it's, uh, if it's something that I, I enjoy. So uh, please do that. When you're done, uh, you know what to do, right? What is the Fields Medal most prestigious award in mathematics? <laughs> right, you're just answering questions like this. Uh, no, I'm, I'm good. Put a period there. Um, this this is answer. Right, you answered this. Hey, yay. Uh, so you've done it all. Uh, so you're going ahead and, and clicking turn in to this assignment. Boom, click turn in, and then you are done, right? You are done, you're good to go. 
Okay, click turn in and you're good to go. So that's all you need to do, okay? So to recap your attendance, okay? So your attendance, you have to go to not this post, you have to go to the other Thursday, August 20th post. That was up here, classwork tab. So this, you need to fill this out to submit attendance. And then after attendance, you're looking at these Google Slides. You're reflecting on these, you're reading them, you're watching the YouTube video that's in these Google Slides. That's your classwork. And finally, your homework is this Google Doc right here. Uh, by clicking on it and filling it out, you've taken care of your homework and you're done with your ASIC mistake. Okay. So uh, hopefully this was pretty clear. Hopefully you didn't really have to watch this video, but if you did, great. You know what to do now. Um, if any of this is unclear, please send me an email. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good night. Have a good day.